Welcome to Caseway QuickVids for Caseway Connector. In this QuickVid, we will demonstrate the Caseway Linkage dialog, used to create linkages from a Working Papers client file to a Microsoft Word or Excel document. We launch the Caseway Linkage dialog from the Connector toolbar by clicking on the Linkage dialog button. As you can see, there are four main parts in the Linkage dialog. The Category section on the left side organizes data available to be linked from the client file. The linkage pull-down area at the top provides filters and options to that data. The results panel in the middle displays what's available to link based on the category and pull-down selections. The status area at the bottom displays the currently selected cell in Excel, the calculation, and the results preview. To illustrate the linkage dialog, let's create some linkages for this consolidated balance sheet report based on mapping. When we create any link, we start with the Category section. Selecting a category determines what becomes available in the Linkage pull-down area and what displays in the Results panel. Engagement Properties displays engagement information such as the address, contact details, and reporting periods. Document Information presents the documents listed in the Client Files Document Manager. User Defined and Case View Data shows their respective details as defined within Case View. The other categories provide their respective details and values. Now that we're on the mapping category, we need to make the proper selections from the linkage pull-down area for the current year balance for accounts receivable. To make things easier, let's filter out the zero balance items by clicking the Hide Zero Values button. Going through the linkage pull-downs, we do not need to select a specific entity nor a specific period. We want the current year. For the currency format, we'll select the following option. Note that for Excel, we could instead format the cell. For the balance type, we need the consolidated balance. For the buttons, we want year-to-date balances, so we do not need to select period only. We should include the foreign exchange. We want to include all sub-entities, so we do not need to click parent entity only. We don't want to have sub-accounts and we don't need to include other basis adjustments. For rounding, let's set it to round by account. Next, all we have to do is select the accounts receivables balance, which automatically creates the calculation below in the status area at the bottom. To accept the calculation, we click the check mark button, which populates the calculation into Excel. Notice that the cash balance does not match what displays in the linkage dialog. To edit any calculation in Excel, we simply click on the cell, and when we go back to the linkage dialog, the dialog changes accordingly. In this case, the category changed and the value in the results panel has been highlighted. The calculation displays in the status area at the bottom, the linkage pull-downs adjust accordingly, and the results panel highlights the cash balance. To correct this calculation, we just need to turn on the foreign exchange and then click the Accept button. Another way to populate Excel with the linkage involves right-clicking on the Results panel on the value and selecting Link Formula. The Link Data option does not create a link but only enters the raw value. As you will have noticed, we have been able to shift focus between the Linkage dialog and Excel. Since the Linkage dialog is a modeless dialog, we can work in Excel without having to first close the Linkage dialog. This concludes our demonstration on the Caseware Linkage Dialog. Thank you for watching this Caseware Quick